Have you ever thought about your skills? How do you know that you have a skill? And what kind of evidence do you need to show that you actually have a skill? Maybe someone's asked you in an interview or an event about one of your skills. How do you convince that person that you have a skill? There are many different types of skills, and in your career, especially when applying for jobs, you need to provide evidence of the skills that you have. But what does this evidence look like, and how do you know that you actually have a skill? Maybe you play for a sport team. What about the time that you had to organise your football team's trip overseas? You had to check people's availability, check flight costs and arrival time, map out your route across several continents, request quotes from companies, and manage people's money and expectations. Managing and organising 15 people with different arrival and departure times was tricky, but you used a planner and mapping software to track everything, and the trip was a success. You learn that you can organise many people and tasks at once by keeping on top of things and setting deadlines. Critical thinking is a tricky skill to think of some evidence for. Maybe one day you were crossing the street on the way to university. You saw an elderly woman struggling across the street and eventually collapse on the road. You quickly assess the situation and run over to her. It's a hot day, so you suspect that she's fainted. You apply your critical thinking skills and ask someone next to you to block the traffic. You ask someone else to call an ambulance and you quickly check the woman's breathing and pulse. While you wait for an ambulance, you monitor the woman and keep her cool in the shade. As the ambulance arrives, they confirm that she has fainted and it was your assistance and quick critical thinking that helped the situation. You learn that sometimes in stressful situations, you're able to apply your critical thinking skills and improve a situation. Initiative is also a tricky skill to describe and to think about evidence for. Maybe you saw a notice for a networking event one day. Should you go? You don't have to go, but you go. You see someone at the event with a logo name tag and take the initiative to talk to them about their business and their work. You ask for their card and follow up your conversation with an email to thank them for their time. Impressed with your initiative, you're offered an internship. You learn that by taking initiative in situations, you're able to make an impact on people which can have really positive outcomes. Evidence for your skills can look different, and many situations can be useful in showing evidence for a particular skill. There are all types of instances where you might have displayed a skill well, and you might be surprised with the types of skills you can describe. So have a think about your skill set and think about some evidence to support your skills. Think about what it is exactly you did in that situation and how you can describe the evidence so that someone is convinced of the skill that you have. Think about the outcomes from the situation, how you can quantify the outcomes, and try to describe what you learnt from that situation to really convey that the skill had an impact on your professional development. From work, to extracurricular activities, to university, evidence for your skills can be found in many places.